Welcome. We have a 10 volt battery in series with a 6 ohm resistor, an 8 volt battery in series with a 12 ohm resistor, and both of them are then connected to this 18 ohm resistor. Because we have multiple batteries, multiple resistors, we can't do any simple series or parallel rules. We have to use Kirchhoff's rules in the full. So the first thing that we do in our sketch step after drawing this circuit is to guess the current for all of these. So for this 18, we've got a kind of general guess that it's going to be moving like this. So we will guess it's going in this direction. We have to make this guess, and we have to guess a direction. We also just have to label it. Maybe we also call this one IA, IB, and this one IC. So in the labeling process, now we also have to make a guess for the directions of these two currents. I'm going to guess they're going to go with their batteries. So I'm saying IB is, I is going this way, IB is going this way. So next in my sketch step is I have to draw loops that go with the currents. I cannot draw a loop like this because while it is going with IA, it is going against IB. But I can do IA and IC. So I can start here and do an outside loop outside because it's all the outside elements. And this would be one possible loop. I can also go up through IB and then down through IC. So I can start a loop like this and end it in this way. So we'll just add a couple directions so we can confirm for ourselves that our loop is moving in the right direction. So now that I have my loops, I can also take a look at my junction. So I can look at this point or this point. This point seems nice. We like kind of the tops a little bit better. So I can see that I have IA coming into it. I have IB coming into it. And then I have IC coming out of it. So in my organized step, I'm going to write all of my junction and loop rules that I've just determined. So I just determined from my junction rule that IA and IB, my two currents into the junction, is equal to IC, the current coming out of the junction. I have my outside loop. So on my path for my outside loop, my first thing I go over is the 10 volt battery. Then I go over IA times 6 ohms. Then I continue over conductors. And then I go over IC times 18 ohms. And then I get back to where I started, which means I can say it's equal to red. I can take a look at my other loop. This is on the right side of the circuit, so I can call it the right loop, or the inside loop, or whatever. And so going from here, I start with 8 volts, go up to this one, which is IB, which is like 12 ohms, minus this resistor, IC, times 18 ohms and again, equaling zero. So these are my organized steps. And now I'm ready to solve. So in my solve step, I've got now one, two, three unknowns. But they're the same unknowns in all three equations. So I have three unknowns, three equations. What I want to do is I want to symbolically solve and substitute into other equations until it becomes one equation, one unknown. And then I can solve that equation, and then I can work my way back. So I usually want to start with the simplest looking one in terms of substitutions, just to make my substitutions as easy as possible. For this junction rule, I could immediately substitute IC, but then I would have right, this IA plus IB for both of them. It's kind of a little bit better to do either IA or IB. In this case, I'm going to solve for IB. So if I'm solving for IB, I just have to bring IA over. So it's equal to IC minus IA. And then I want to sub this into another equation. 
So I'm going to sub it into the right loop. In my right loop equation, now I've got 8 volts. Every time I see IB, I'm going to replace it with IC minus IA. And I still have to multiply all that by 12 ohms. And then I'm subtracting by IC. That's 18 ohms to zero. This is probably one of the toughest things to do, one of the hardest things. So don't worry about it. But the next thing I can do is I can solve for one of these. Since I only have one IA term, I might want to solve for IA. So in this case, I have 8 volts. Minus 12 minus 18 gives me minus IC times 30 ohms, which is 18 plus 12. And then minus minus gives me plus IA times 12 ohms. So I can move both of these over here, and this gives me IA is equal to IC times 30 ohms minus 8 volts. And then I'm dividing all by 12 ohms. So 30 divided by 12 have a common factor of 6. So I can do 6 times 5 is 30, so 5. 6 times 2 is 12, so 2. So I have IC times 5 halves. 8 divided by 12 has a common factor of 4. Eight, 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12, so minus 2 thirds. A volt divided by an ohm is an amp. So now I have that my IA is equal to IC 5 halves minus 2 thirds A. So that is IA here. And so my last thing that I can do is I can plug into my outside loop equation. So now I have 10 volts minus every time I see IA, I replace it with this. So I have IC times 5 halves minus 2 thirds of an amp times 6 ohms minus IC times 18 ohms equals 0. Now, after these two substitutions, I now have just one unknown in this equation, IC. I have it two times, but I can do that just nicely. I've now reduced it to one equation, one unknown, with a little bit of right fun. So what we can do is we can then do some multiplication. So I have 10 volts. 5 times 6 is 30, divided by 2 is 15. So I have IC times 15 ohms. Minus minus gives me a plus. 2 times 6 is 12, divided by 3 is 4 volts, minus IC times 18 ohms equals 0. So if I bring all of my ICs over, I get 10 plus 4 is 14 volts, equals IC times 15 plus 18 is 33 ohms. So I get that my current over C is 14 volts over 33 ohms, or roughly 0.42 amps. Now what I can do is I can go back up here. I know that my IC is 0 0.42 or 40, 14 33rds, so I have that my IA is now 14 33rds amps. times 5 halves minus 2 thirds. A little bit of math, and I will get that this is 13 30 thirds of an amp, or roughly 0 0.39 amps. If I go back to here, now my I sub B is equal to I sub C, which is 14 
equal to the thirds of an amp. So minus IA, which is 13 33rds of an amp. 14 minus 13 is 1, common denominator 33 of an amp, which is what is equal to 0 0.03 X. So from this I have, right, that my current over C is 0 0.42 amps, current over B is 0 0.39, or 0 0.03 amps, and my current over A is 0 0.29 amps. So if we don't panic, if we do a couple substitutions, we very quickly get ourselves to one equation, one unknown. We can solve for that, and then we can go back to our previous equations and solve them. So that's how we do circuits when we have multiple batteries or we need just multiple loops.